Space is no longer just about exploration. It's the next battlefield. China's mind-boggling space militarization raises alarm in the U.S. as the nation rapidly transforms space into a militarized domain, pushing the boundaries of technology and international law at an unprecedented pace. With advanced space weapons, reorganized military forces, and bold lunar ambitions, their actions are raising serious concerns worldwide. What does this mean for global security, and how is it reshaping the balance of power? In this video, we'll uncover the groundbreaking technologies fueling this race, explore the implications for international treaties, and dive into China's plans for lunar dominance. China's foray into space militarization is nothing short of groundbreaking and unsettling. Since their 2007 anti-satellite weapon test, which shocked the world by destroying one of their own defunct satellites, China has rapidly developed an array of space-based technologies. These include anti-satellite missiles, grappling devices capable of capturing satellites, and even advanced space planes designed for military applications. What's striking is the speed at which China has scaled these capabilities. General Chance Saltzman of the U.S. Space Force describes it as mind-boggling. This rapid advancement is no accident. It reflects China's deliberate strategy to dominate space as both a military and economic domain. Space weapons, though often ambiguous in their classification, hold the potential to disable critical satellites that control everything from navigation systems to global communications. China's approach also extends beyond weaponry. Its space capabilities are inherently dual-use, meaning civilian technologies, such as satellites used for weather forecasting or GPS, can easily serve military purposes. This duality blurs the line between peaceful exploration and militarization, creating a gray area that makes global oversight incredibly challenging. But why does this matter? Because space isn't just an empty void, it's the backbone of modern civilization. Disruptions to satellite systems could cripple economies, disable military operations, and throw the world into chaos. By investing in such technologies, China is not just securing an advantage, it's rewriting the rules of engagement in space. What's more, the 2024 restructuring of China's military command highlights how seriously they take this new frontier. The creation of the Aerospace Force, directly reporting to President Xi Jinping, underscores their intent to consolidate power and streamline decision-making in space operations. This stands in contrast to the U.S. model, where the Space Force and Space Command are separate but complementary entities. China's rise in space militarization is a wake-up call to the world. It signals a shift in the balance of power that could define the 21st century. China's ambitions don't stop at near-Earth space. They extend to the moon and beyond. Their plan to establish a permanent lunar presence by 2030 is not just about scientific exploration. It's about strategic dominance. The moon holds valuable resources like helium-3, which could revolutionize energy production, and China's focus on securing these resources highlights the economic and geopolitical dimensions of its space program. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson has expressed concerns that China's lunar ambitions could conflict with the principles of the Outer Space Treaty. The treaty explicitly states that celestial bodies, including the Moon, must be used for peaceful purposes. Yet China's track record of militarizing dual-use technologies raises questions about how they might exploit lunar resources for military gain. Their Tiangong space station is another piece of this puzzle. While it's a marvel of engineering, it also serves as a stepping stone for broader ambitions. The station provides a platform for testing technologies that could support lunar operations or even military activities in deep space. But what makes this so significant? The moon is seen as the gateway to the rest of the solar system. Establishing a permanent presence there gives China a strategic advantage in future exploration and resource extraction. It also raises the specter of territorial disputes in space a concept that goes against the very essence of the Outer Space Treaty. What's clear is that China's space ambitions are part of a broader strategy to position itself as a global superpower. By investing heavily in space, they're not just advancing their technological capabilities, they're shaping the rules of the game. This shift has profound implications for the future of exploration, cooperation, and competition in space.
The implications of China's actions in space are profound and far-reaching. At the heart of the concern lies the potential destabilization of global security. The Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which aimed to preserve space as a peaceful domain, prohibits the placement of nuclear weapons or other weapons of mass destruction in orbit. However, this treaty is outdated and vague, leaving room for interpretation that China appears willing to exploit. For example, while the treaty bans WMDs, it says nothing about anti-satellite weapons or non-nuclear technologies that could wreak havoc in space. China's advancements, such as lasers capable of blinding satellites or kinetic kill vehicles that destroy targets on impact, technically don't violate the treaty but undermine its spirit. These developments also raise questions about the security of critical infrastructure. Satellites are the unsung heroes of modern life, enabling everything from international banking to weather forecasting. A single targeted attack could have catastrophic consequences, and China's growing arsenal of space weapons puts these systems at risk. General Saltzman has emphasized the sheer diversity and volume of threats posed by China. Unlike during the Cold War, where the space race was largely symbolic, today's competition is strategic and practical. Whoever controls space controls the flow of information and the ability to respond to crises on Earth. But the concern isn't just military. China's actions set a dangerous precedent for other nations. If they continue to push the boundaries of what's acceptable in space, others will follow, leading to an arms race that could spiral out of control. The risks of accidents, misunderstandings, or deliberate escalation are simply too high. As nations like the U.S. and its allies grapple with how to respond, it's clear that a new framework for space governance is desperately needed. The current treaties are insufficient to address the realities of 21st century space exploration, and the stakes have never been higher. China's rapid militarization of space is more than a technological achievement. It's a geopolitical challenge that reshapes the dynamics of power on Earth and beyond. From the development of space weapons to the pursuit of lunar dominance, these actions raise urgent questions about the future of space as a shared domain. As the world grapples with how to respond, one thing is clear. Space is no longer the peaceful frontier envisioned in the 1967 Outer Space Treaty. It's a contested arena where the stakes are higher than ever. For humanity, this is a moment of reckoning. Will we allow space to become a battleground, or will we find a way to preserve it as a domain of exploration and cooperation? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.